Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Horde Survival Action Roguelike. The reason I am back here today is there is a new update on the beta branch. It is sort of a small slice of what we are going to be getting with the Abyssal Terrors DLC at the end of the year. But still, gives us some fun stuff to play around with until then. There are four new characters, four new weapons, I believe 14 new items, local co-op, which is pretty huge, as well as a slew of other changes in the form of balance tweaks, things like that. So we're going to go in, we're going to check out the new characters, see what's up, what's new here. Not going to be here for too long. Don't want to burn myself out before the actual update does eventually come out. But of course, we're going to be checking out the baby. 10 harvesting. You gain a weapon slot when you level up instead of a stat upgrade. That's a really important and big caveat with a max of 24 <laughs> held weapons, which is nuts. You start with one weapon slot and leveling up requires more XP. So I don't know if 24 weapon slots scream something to you. To me, that says, I got to find sticks. <laughs> I got to find sticks. One thing I'm noting is there's not sticks here. There are not any sticks here. There's the quarter staff, which I probably will use. It does have the primitive tag, which will make me more likely to find sticks and is kind of a valid idea for the character in its own right, with a, an important caveat being this does scale on your level, which is a little bit dissynergistic with this penalty right here. We're going to be a lower level than a normal character, and thus the quarterstaff will do less damage than normal. It does give us some experience gain as well. But that being said, the second I can pivot into all sticks, I am doing it. We're going to be looking for sticks, experience gain, like uh, harvesting probably, maybe like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Percentage damage is always a good one for sticks. Like there, there's some stuff. There's some stuff we're going to be looking for. Do I uh, upgrade the quarter staff for some more XP gain or do I just... I might just hard roll for a stick here. Yeah, because it's. I was going to say, it's a primitive weapon. It shouldn't actually be that hard to find. So what else do we want? Speed range. I'm going to lock this stick. Roll one more time. Scar. Oh, Gummy Berserker is actually good seeming now. 50, 25 range instead of, I think it was 15. Slowly, I, I gotta say, the one important change that needed to be made to Gummy Berserker still has not been made, and that is that it's not changed to Gummy Berserker, and uh, turned into a Gummy Bear, so. Quite frankly, a little bit of a crime, but I will let it pass. I'm gonna lock the stick instead of combining it, because I would rather have two sticks than one better stick right now. Does plus four flat damage for every additional stick you have. Can you see why I want it on this character, who might be able to get to having 24 weapons if we are... We play our cards right. This sucker is going to be doing uh, crazy numbers. And I feel like the only reason that this character can't start with the stick is because it's such like a strong, obvious choice that they wanted to add the like, I'm going to take damage if I have to to get this tree. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Because uh, it's such a strong, obvious choice that I think it needed this extra. Yeah, I mean, no additional stats there is. It's noteworthy. 10 range, chance to instantly get immaterial. Sure, tree, tree spawn's good. Tree spawn's good. It's not incredible. But yeah, the more sticks, the uh, the merrier. We got a level up there. Very close to just getting it on that last one, which would have been nice, but... Tis what tis there. Early game on the baby is going to suck. Like, that's just the truth. The character actually has... Believe it or not, you see, you probably lock on to 24 weapons and you think like, that's busted. This character mostly has downsides. Like, truthfully, it's mostly downside with this guy. Uh, Hedgehog is valid, but I... Scar's valid. But I'm going to be rolling while we have the guaranteed weapon here. Banner got a knockback nerf, you say? Interesting way to do it. Interesting way to do it. 
Stick does not have any knockback to begin with, though. Hmm. This is a tough choice. We also want the experience gain for obvious reasons. I'll grab this first, lock this, roll for... Roll for a stick? Thank you. I'll take bait next turn. Got a blue stick at that. Okay. Good deal. But late game, theoretically, like early game, bad. I mean, God. It is annoying to just get the level right at the beginning of the wave. But, um... It makes sense, because we are a baby. Early game is going to be... Uh, trash. But theoretically, this character scales into the late game as an adult like a son of a gun, you know? One would imagine. Okay, good deal. Good deal. We take damage is fine. Weapon slot. Weapon slot. There we go. Uh, I, I need to get some sticks, though. I need to get my sticks. I think I'm going to pass on the banner for now, because... I'd like to find... Oh, God. It hurts to do. It hurts to do. Coupon. Give me the stick. Thank you. We now have five sticks. We're, we're almost just a normal guy. Minus the fact that we would have uh, grabs stats to level up. That's from the bait, if you don't know. Ow. Uh, we would have gotten stats from level ups five times by now, I'm pretty sure. I know he says level four. Well, no, no, four. it would be four times. Because we start at, you technically start at level zero. Not even technically, you literally, you start at level zero, not at level one. Uh, but I'm, I'm feeling like we're maybe, we're getting past those early game jitters. Do I take this? I'll say sure. Give me the stick. Yes. Take the stick. I'll take the next. I'll take this banner. We'll, we'll save our money. Take that banner. All right. Doing a nice clean. Yeah. Doing some 44 damage with the blue sticks. We're already. We're already kind of chilling. We're already kind of chilling. 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 I do think that the sheer value of stacking sticks is going to outweigh the level up penalty not being there. But I'm I feel like this character might be kind of like a ch challenge character if you play them honestly. <laughs> I would imagine. Cuz now we just get some uh, some raw value engineering take the weapon slot. Melee damage plus three knockback. <sighs> Do I care? Do I care? Am I gonna try and am I gonna try and get knockback on this? Cause one melee damage, uh, it's been buffed. Fine. Give me stick, or give me death. Oh, don't make me do math. There's no way. There's no There's no way we could afford it after the coupon, so we'll lock the coupon for next time. Ugly Tooth. Probably good, yeah. If we have, uh, if we have 24 weapons hitting enemies, th th which I do think is maybe, like, a little bit of a delusional thought that we will get there, because leveling up starts to slow down a lot. Maybe we'll get lucky. Extra loot goblins. Uh, early game loot goblins have less HP. And late game loot goblins have more HP. That was a, a change that was made. Boop, 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 boop. I was going to say, yeah, we're supposed to find another one. Kill him. Alright. Uh, trying to get back up to the egg in time there. Oh, well. 
So the guaranteed two loot goblins. We still could find another one. It's just too guaranteed. Extra HP from consumables minus dot short. Life steal minus elemental. I would absolutely love to get my life steal back up. Two weapon slots. Okay, that first. Short. Please give me sticks. Oh, I want this too, though. Stick. I want blood leech. I kind of want the glasses. But more than that, I want stick. Why? I do want... I want that too. Like, I think we maybe just maybe should go for the minus knockback there's so many items i want this run that i just don't have the money to facilitate and you want to kind of know one of the things that might attribute to that is the fact that we have a lot of weapon slots this is not this is not thought about very often like with them it's valid for the multitasker as well i have a lot of weapon slots coming my way you still have to buy the weapons it's not, it's not free value. It is, you are basically earning an obligation. Like, what are the chances you're going to have, you know, are we going to have 24 weapons? Yes. Are we going to have 24 legendary weapons? No, absolutely not. Which is why, like, if ooh, the weapons aren't providing, like, an additional value, like the fact that sticks do scale with sticks... I don't know. I, I don't know if it's necessarily like that good. Oh, God. Minus two harvesting. I don't want the harvesting down, but I'll take it. Ooh. Burning enemies move slower. It's really good. It's obviously irrelevant to us right now. Take the bait. Boxing glove, I think, is valid. I'm taking it. Thank you. Stick. Alloy is valid. I want to find another stick so bad. Effective steroids, fine. Ay ay ay. What good are ten weapon slots? God, I'm really happy I didn't go with the uh, the quarter staff angle. Like I can't even fill up the slots that I have. What's up with that, man? What's up with that? I can't find a stick to save my life. Potentially, literally. Oh, that's nice. That was made an actual feature. Love that. I had a mod that did that for me i've since uninstalled all my mods there's everything you're looking at right now is completely unmodded good deal like it love it, gotta have it wave nine always always a nice wave extra so when you have more weapons than normal Tunnel vision, tunnel vision, tunnel vision, tunnel vision. Thank you. Cool. All right. Nah. Take the weapon slot. Definitely take the stick. Reposts. Sure could. The wandering bot sure could be good. But again, I do think we need to tunnel vision the fact that um, bag is obviously good. Weapon damage additionally scales with 20% engineering. There's some wild new items to play with. Oh, got excited. Take a baby gecko. Take a coffee. Pick up range harvesting minus dodge. I don't mind that. Okay, we almost have uh, we almost have complete absorption of materials. After we buy that, we'll have seventy five percent of materials just get absorbed to us after we uh, get them on the ground. That's pretty fun. Relic who? All right, but then we got up to ten weapons. We 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 sort of patched up our. Uh, the amount of falling behind that we're doing on our weapons to weapon slot ratio. And we are almost multitasker and we still have half the game left. You know? Obviously, the, you know, thing to keep in mind there 
is the fact that leveling up does get harder. It takes longer and longer. And we haven't gotten very much harvesting, and we sort of stopped getting experience gain items. So, I don't know. We did just, uh, just keeping that in mind. It'll slow down. An extra coupon is great. Metal detector is fine. I just don't feel like it. Two weapon slot upgrades. Tentacle is something, but stick got nerfed in the critical department. It's one of the only nerfs I saw in the entire uh, patch, actually, is that uh, sticks went from two times critical chance or critical multiplier uh, to 1.5 times. So I don't really want to go for crit. Take injection, get some damage up. There we go. We have a 100% chance to absorb stuff now. I'm going to take the life steal. I know, I know the harvest thing, but you said, but you said. Melee damage, good. What's our dodge at? Sure, we'll, we'll fix the harvesting just like that. We're getting to the point of the run where we, oh my God, the damage we're doing with our sticks is crazy. Uh, I really, really should just probably tunnel vision for him at this point. We have three empty weapon slots. Three! Three empty weapon slots. If we have those all filled, we'd have more weapons than Multitasker. The character known for having lots of weapons. And is already a pretty absurdly strong character with sticks in particular. And we'd be better, because Multitasker also comes with a percentage damage downgrade. There's there's some value that this that the baby has. But it's pretty much on the back of sticks, I will say. Good deal. About to level. There we go. Ding. Ow. Ow. We have zero armor. A free piggy bank is exciting. Olenki got changed. 75% engineering, 75% elemental. Our range is actually good, huh? HP regen for every burning enemy. Elemental damage every time you equip an item that increases. That stuff's just... That's exciting. Oh, boy. Okay, so if we're taking that, we need to pivot. Icicle, this is new. Wait, what? It's a me is it is it a melee weapon? Oh no, okay, there it is. Ranged. Huh. Just hundred percent elemental. I mean it seems good. Where are the sticks? I'm I'm getting mad. I'm going to roll one time, and there's going to be stick. No, okay. With double things locked, is obviously like it's not the time to do it. But I'm taking the metal plate because we got Peacock. I'm, I want Cyclops Swarm, too. Oh, this is the Horde Wave, too, isn't it? Peacock, Horde Wave. I mean, if we live this, we are so chilling. But living, it's going to be hard. We got, we're taking so much extra damage. If we get hit. Even with that like little armor upgrade. It's not going to be that big of a deal. We're going to get hurt. Bad. If we get hurt. Extra weapons on a horde wave though. Obviously. Obviously good. I'm not going to know what to do with all those weapon slots though. <laughs> if a charger hits us. Are we one shot with Peacock? I don't think so. Maybe, though. Uh, no. Okay, good. Good, good. It, that's the thing is, I, I know it's like feeling, a, you're like, a little bit, you're too scared of that. I don't know until I get hit. I don't know until I get hit, man. <sighs> I need sticks. I'm... Okay, okay, okay. No. Just... Thank you. I have one thing on my mind. I don't care how good everything else is. I don't care how relevant everything else is. I want sticks. There we go. We just skyrocketed in terms of damage. 
Like truthfully, that is the most important tool for us to get. More than any stat in the entire game, it's easy to get, you know, excited by yet another peacock or all that stuff. I get it. I get it. We needed to catch up on the sticks because the, the value on the table is wild. They scale exponentially. Like when you get a new stick, it scales on all the other sticks and you scale every other stick. It's just dumb. It's frankly dumb how good it is to get more sticks. Okay. Why are we regenning so fast? I guess it is just the fact that we have so many sticks that's helping us with the lifesteal. AKA, yet another way that we are improved by just ignoring everything and collecting more sticks. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what, if, if another peacock shows up now, I will take it. I just, I needed to do that, um, the dumb roll, like just the brain off roll for stick wave. I needed to do one. Alloy is completely acceptable. Uh, Black Belt is too, just lines up too well with what we have. Uh, Bat is acceptable. Speed Life Steel, yeah, we love that. Tree's dying a hit. Sure, it gets it out of the pool. No new sticks, but it's okay. Oh, we got a boss. Is the chef. Correction. It was the chef. Pretty legendary item. Leave that on the ground too, because it's also healing. How are we still in positive range? I feel like we've taken so many range down items. What's up with that? The answer is because I've taken more range up items than I've taken range down items. I understand that. I do get how math works. However, seems wrong. I just, I, it, it, anecdotally, it feels, feels weird. I just remember a lot more of the range downs that I took than the range ups, I guess. Yeah, where, where are all the range ups? Poisonous tonic, that's, that's one. We did take the banner. Avoid that legendary crate. We get it at the end of the wave. And if we need the healing, we can walk on over and get it. Boop, full health. We should grab some armor or whatever, though. Max HP when picking up consumable at full health. I love that. Coffee, good. Stick, good. Bowler hat, pretty good. But love it, 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 love it. Even if I can't get it right now, I love it. 17 sticks. 17 sticks. It's beautiful. It's unbelievably beautiful. Oh, that's right. What is it? Max of 10 per wave? Max of 8 per wave. Is that a change? I can't remember. I thought it was... I thought it was 10. Maybe it was. I mean, we don't have a high luck stat. So we're not going to be getting very many food drops. So I don't think we're hitting eight per wave, even if we get everything. Okay. So that's going to give us a bit of sustain or a little bit of survivability as well. So that's nice. Cool. Focus, 30% damage up, minus 3% attack speed for every different weapon you have. Ah, yes. Different weapons. That's a thing I would totally do. Uh, Ritual's actually pretty good. It's a little expensive. It's the only penalty. What? <laughs> oh, you poor sap of a video game. You are going down, my friend. Grab these at full. 
Yeah, I mean, this is what I was saying. Early game, spooky. Late game, just absolute nightmare for them. Just keep on grabbing the health. Even if we're going to need it later, it, uh, I, it's okay. I just don't care. It's, it's don't care. <laughs> Tunnel vision. One track mind. Oh. What's my 11% uh, life steal? I would feel like would be giving us a bit more than it has been. Avoid that. Okay, now now grab it. I think I might have gotten eight this way. Engineering for every elemental. Obviously not relevant here. Three percent damage to the end of it. It's it's just too late for that. It's just too late. It's too late for harvesting to make a big difference as well. Percentage damage is great for us. Like, it's really good. And we finally, we caught up. Nineteen out of nineteen. It's nice to see. Boss dead. <laughs> Boss is gone. Just like that. But yeah, percentage damage, sticks and percentage damage. May break their bones. Whoop. The fact that you're living these stick hits at all is honestly a testament to your fortitude, my friend. Congratulations. You're really sticking it to the baby. much food we could i mean it wouldn't be completely misplaced for us to get a little bit of luck stat would not be fully misplaced at all ah pass i don't really want speed down could we handle it sure do i care no lure what is this Twenty percent damage, three armor, five knockback. Weapons have a minimum cooldown of 0.5 seconds. So that doesn't impact us. That's really cool. I shouldn't have grabbed that. I should have. It's irrelevant. But I probably should have combined the lower tiers together instead. Dude, that's a lot of sticks. Dude, it's a lot of sticks. 20. 20 sticks. Are we going to get to 21 and we can legally drink? From baby to legal, you know, drinking age? All right. Do grab. Do grab. The crates count for, uh, what is it? Is it second stomach? Is that what it's called? Extra stomach? It's been a while. The one thing I'm surprised by right now is the fact that 11% uh, lifesteal with this many weapons is not even really healing me very much. That's the thing I'm most surprised by. I would assume that we'd be getting more. Sure, it's more food. Coupon at this point, will it pay for itself? It might still. Range is still good. Beautiful. What does the legendary do? 505 damage. 505 damage, man. Can we do a standstill kill thing? We probably can. We have full absorption. Well... It's just an issue with the food and trees, basically. I'd rather move around. That playstyle is... It's just always been so snoozer to me, man. 
OMG, I did one billion, I went to wave one bajillion by doing absolutely nothing. I found the build that makes me be able to stand still and go to wave 1000. Please click my video, please. It's just, I don't, it's just such a boring play style to me. No shade to anyone is specific on that. It's just, I'm talking from my personal experience. I just don't want to do that. Have I done standstill before? Yeah, mostly because char certain characters uh, are better that way. Like, that's kind of how they're designed. Uh, rip and Tear is a fantastic item to get, especially in the late game. When we don't care about harvesting. This is the final wave, though, so... Just getting a bunch of HP regen could be nice, but I think I'm going to try and find... Yeah, find the extra stick. Greek fire. Burning deals an additional 10% of current enemy HP as damage. Oh. That's fun. Just looking for damage. Looking for damage. Stick is damage. No point to get another scar. All right. Good deal. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision the one. Okay. Good. And done. Win run with baby. Celery tea. Gain 5% experience gain at the end of a wave, but 100% enemy health during the next wave. Huh. I mean, it's, it's certainly good. progress so we need okay so yeah it said eight new achievements but i guess it's the ones to unlock i guess i had whatever it was i had these by default wait i haven't won a run with the vampire what are you talking about oh you know what there might be an issue with the unlocks because i played dlc kara I played modded characters that had these names. Oh, wow. That's kind of funny. I've, I've played a modded character called Baby before, and I've played a modded character called Vampire, of course, before. Uh, so that's kind of funny. That That's kind of actually... That has been an issue in the past with modded characters that had the same name as other modded characters. But this is funny because... This is the first time a new character that has been added officially has the same names as modded characters that I've played. That's kind of funny. Uh, so I guess I have them unlocked for <laughs> maybe on accident. That being said, I'll go in. Uh, I'm probably going to unlock these off camera anyways. Because, I don't know. Have six different weapons at once. You can imagine what that looks like. Reach 10 element. Like, I'm just going to go into a run, do this, and then quit out of it. Like, so you don't really need to see that. Alas, alas, uh, wild character. I feel like they're, hot take, I think they're probably going to be bad with anything else other than stick. Th this seems like, this just reads as a lot of downsides to me and like a challenge character. Uh, I could be wrong, you know, uh, I, I could be wrong. People will test it and tell me, I'm sure. Uh, but to me, it's, it strikes me as uh, stick or nothing. But alas, alas, that's, that's going to do it here for today. We will be back to bare minimum check out these four characters. Um, you know, we'll probably I'll try and find a way to check out some co-op. Uh, you know, if internet capabilities like Steam Remote Play functions fine. Uh, don't, no guarantee because I've had problems with Steam Remote Play in the past and not being the best uh, for that kind of thing. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Brotato. Check it out. Link at the cop. Uh, link at the comments. No, link at the top of the description. You get uh, no links in the comments. You can go down to the comments if you want. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know. Be sad to see the series go. But like I said, we'll be checking out for a little bit, and then we'll probably be taking a you know probably be taking a break until the Abyssal Terrors DLC does come out. They said late October. It's been delayed to late October, so I wouldn't you know get too up in arms expecting for sure late october it might be a november release like just 
just putting that out there don't don't get too uh too uh set on that one release date but we'll be back for that for sure obviously alas alas though that's that that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching check the channel for roguelikes and more every single day if that is a genre that you are into this is a channel that you should be subscribed to thank you thank you and i will see you next time Bye bye